surrender. Now. No soldier can match the power of a Sith. You're a dead man. Death will never come for me. I am death. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. But you, you are nothing. Less than nothing. Enough talk. Time to die. You're right. Words are nothing without action. Oh, my God. 
charging up our main turbo laser's batteries. In a few moments, your pathetic ship and all your pathetic friends will be nothing but floating debris. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? First Officer Haken doesn't want you to come back from this one, Ambassador. He thinks you'll just cause more trouble. Is this a joke? That spineless, indecisive... He wants you to hand me over to the Imperials? Unbelievable. After everything I've done to save the ship, everything I've done for the Republic, that scum tries to betray me to the Empire. Wait. You didn't actually agree to leave me behind, did you? Keeping you with us would be too dangerous, Asara. No! How can you do this to me? How can you just leave me here to die? You're a cruel, ruthless woman. The Empire is where you belong. I think it's clear that I'm not the only one who's cruel and ruthless. Go. Just go. Our inventory will meet your needs. Thank you for your patronage. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. Just doing my duty. There's no reason for modesty. What you accomplished here is truly amazing. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. More would have been better, but I'll get by. Don't forget that bonus I promised for that extra bit of help. I'd say you've done quite well for yourself. It's a shame that Ambassador Asara had to lay down her life so the rest of us could escape. The Republic is fortunate to have heroes like Asara. And like you. Fighting for the Republic is my life, sir. And I'd say you do the Republic proud. One thing's for sure, Grand Moff Kilrun won't forget about this anytime soon. He's going to want revenge. Count on it. Sara was Kilran's target. I don't think he cares about us. Even so, you made his work much harder than it should have been. Anyway, enough of that talk. It's time I got back to the helm. Enjoy the rest of your trip, and thanks again for everything you've done.
Wow. You spend enough time on a backwater like Ord Mantell, you almost forget what a civilized planet's supposed to look like. I did my officer training here, back before I was deployed to Ord Mantell. There was still a fair bit of reconstruction going on then. Rebuilding things the Imperials destroyed. I still can't believe the Empire managed to sack Coruscant back in the war. The capital of the entire Republic and they raided it like some outer rim mud ball. Seems like the Empire would have tried to hold on to Coruscant. Nah, they didn't bring the numbers to actually take over. It was a psychop. Sack Coruscant, scare everyone in the Republic. Get people thinking that nobody's safe. Anyways, we should get moving. Don't want to keep anyone important waiting. You're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. I realize you can't discuss it, Lieutenant, but thank you for exposing the traitors on Ord Mantell. Identify yourself. Where are my manners? Forgive me. Anatol Rospar, Coruscant Special Affairs Liaison. I represent Venara Kale, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. The war's been over a long time. It's hard to believe we're still recovering. Some wounds run deeper than others. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Senator Kale believes you are specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. I'm here on urgent business. I don't have time for political games. This is no game, Lieutenant. But I'm not authorized to reveal more. You understand. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. <laughs> 